Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brittany, you already know what time it is. This is another educational video, but this one is a bit more... All I gotta say is if you're a makeup artist, just hold on to um, your horses, grab some popcorn. And if you are a potential client and you always get services done on yourself, then you should grab a notepad with a pen or pencil. Okay, because this video is about to get really, really real. Number six, respect prices if within your budget or not. Respect prices if within your budget or not. Okay, this is also a huge one. A huge, huge, huge one. The other day, I got a client inquiry for to book a makeup appointment. She apparently, she was referred to me by another friend of hers. I'm not sure who it was. Anywho, so at the end of the conversation, it was a little bit rude throughout. So at the end of the conversation, she was like, I um, I no longer need your, basically saying, I'm not, I no longer need your services. I found somebody way cheaper. I mean like W with a bunch of A's and a Y, way, way um, cheaper and with better services. That's cool, boo. I mean, you could have ended it with like, um, I, I found somebody else, thank you so much. Did you have to tell me that you found somebody way cheaper and with better services than I provided? That's rude as hell. So sometimes when we, when potential clients try to send an inquiry and it doesn't fit within their budget, they get very offended. I, I feel like very offended and they feel like they have to counteract with what they can afford and by questioning why our prices are our prices. If our prices are our prices, why should it matter to you? It is what it is. It's just, it's rude. It's very rude. If the person, if the artist price is 150 for the service alone, not the travel for the service, then honor it. If you can afford it, if you want her to do your, her or he to do your makeup or your hair, whatever the case may be, and you can afford it, do it. And if you can't afford it, it's also okay. You can just go to somebody else like normal, but you do not have to put your two cents in and state that you found somebody cheaper and that you found somebody with better services. That's rude as hell. That's very rude. And I would love for that to stop. Please respect our prices, okay? I'm not gonna say anything else about that. Just respect our prices. And that's it. And if you don't agree with it, you don't have to. We don't care. <laughs> we don't agree with it. We honestly don't care. Because somebody else will pay for it. And that somebody else is just not you. I'm sorry. But our prices are our prices. You're just going to have to just respect it and keep it pushing. That's it. Number seven, why does a client pay for a travel fee? So like I said earlier, we are not we are not slaves to a potential client. That's number one. We are there to do a service and give you an experience. Again, we are not a slave. Okay, we can easily just as just as how easily you found us and booked us, we can easily reject the service as well. If we if we feel like we're not meshing and before the appointment comes about we can reject the appointment. It's just that simple, right? We don't need specifically that appointment, okay? <laughs> Let's be clear. We have to, if we have to travel to where you are, whatever the, the destination is, if we have to travel from point A to point B, there has to be an accounted travel fee. So it's kind of like, think about Uber and Lyft, right? So, and, and a taxi, as soon as they get in the car, as soon as, as soon as we get in the car, we have to pay for whatever that meter is, right? So it's the same exact thing. 
there's we're using our car as a part of our business right so we're pairing we're pairing we're paying for the wear and tear on our cars you have to account literally for everything and travel fee is just not getting in the car travel fee is let's say if i'm in miami and you're in, and you're in atlanta and you're trying to book me for your party on saturday you're gonna pay for that flight right you're gonna pay for the flight you're gonna play you're gonna pay for the hotel stay per diem if there's any per diem and um that's what you and you're paying for transportation to wherever you decide that you want me to do your makeup at that's just why you gotta pay listen so you can't assume that i'm gonna fly out of my pocket to do your makeup right out of state out of pocket out of state and do your makeup for my normal rate for my for my normal rate no of course not that doesn't even make any sense so yes a travel fee is very important we don't only just book the service price we also have to account for the travel fee where whatever that travel fee is if it's out of town if it's four hours away we're accounting for it if it's um if it's a flight we're counting for it so we have to it's then what's the point of having a business of what we do of service right so we do have to account for it i'm sorry actually i'm not sorry how to respectfully decline a an artist you don't need to sit here and tell us that you found somebody cheaper and that you found somebody with a better service, right? And try to negotiate with us. No, not at all. What you just need to do is, hey, thank you so much for um, trying to fit me in that day, um, but I, I was able to find another artist. Thank you so much. That's respectfully declining an artist. I don't need you to tell me or I don't, I don't need you to tell us the why. We don't care, right? It, it's actually very annoying and that we wish it would stop. Just thank you so much. Thank you so much, but I, would, I will no longer be needing your services. Thank you. And be done with it. That's it, be done with it. Putting your two cents in at the end to make you even sound more fresh and more rude is not right. It's just, and I, we know not to book you. That, that's how we come about it. We know not to book you. That's it. That's all I got. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs> if you are a makeup artist, just go ahead and share. You know the deal. Um, if you are a potential client, I heard, I hope that you learned a lot from this video. And um, I hope that you are an inquiring professionally with my either myself or with another makeup artist or another hairstylist. Thank you so much for watching.